another quick video and today we are installing shock absorbers on this 1995 Jeep Grand Cherokee uh, we're gonna be installing uh, the Monroe Matic Plus gas charged shock absorber we're gonna replace we're gonna be replacing it look at this one here man oh man you can see this so this shock been there for a very long time it's really rusted it's not even working well right now so um, we're gonna replace it today uh, uh, first of all there is a uh, two bolts here there are 13 millimeter there are also uh, a lock nut at the bottom which are also 13 millimeter and at the top there is a bolt right here close to the reservoir this one right here it's a uh, 15 millimeter and the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna loosen this bolt, bolt at the top then we will loosen these at the bottom all right so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put a wrench right on this shock right here and I'm gonna use the, the 15 millimeter ring and at the top to turn it out is freeing up the bolt is almost out there I just let it rest right here it's not very hard I can spin it with my hands as you can see it's not hard at all so we're gonna spin it until it's fully out let's pull this down like that Okay, so now it's out and we're gonna loosen the two bottom ones right there And settle this camera Okay. We're gonna use uh, the 13 at the top and the 13 at the bottom Let's see if we can get it here. Oh, yeah. And put some Let's spray some WD on it again. Lubricate it a little more. Okay, the other one. So, okay, so we got in the last one out, the last bolt. So, press this down. at this thing oh man this thing is even falling apart it's garbage this is the new one nice blue color This strap off. This is really for packaging. You just 
pull it out like that. Okay, pull the other one out. bushings and the two washers and a lock nut make sure you install these before you put it in okay it up so it can be so the bolts can you can feed the bolts in This one to the corner is a bit tricky. The space is so small to get your your fingers in there. It's very you gotta have some patience. Snug it with the uh, with my impact wrench, and then tighten it up by hand. You don't want to over tighten. You want to tighten just just enough. I'll get some more. feed it all the way in yet but I'm gonna do it right now let's press this down okay and let it go all the way up by itself okay I 
place. guys so make sure you put your bush in and your washers on there's a whole bush in here but I'm gonna take this one out it's all worn I'm gonna put the new one with the washer and the nut So how I'm gonna get this one? I'm gonna use the ring in here, right here, and then I'm gonna turn this one by hand. I'm gonna ha hand tighten it. I'm gonna turn this just the same like how I took it out. all installed and the uh, bush in seated pretty nicely there even at the top very nice so guys it's not difficult difficult at all you can easily do this yourself if you want to yeah it's pretty easy so anyway if you like if you like this video give us a thumbs up and uh, don't forget to subscribe if you like this kind of content and uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next one peace